everybody. Oh. It's a version. Am I not? Am I not clicked? Oh, there we go. I'm gonna turn you up a little bit. Oh, okay, I'm on though. You're on. I don't because I don't know where my clicker is. Okay. Hi, I'm Cinnamon Cooney the Archer, but where I don't know where my on button is for my sound on the mic that a person I was talking to is my husband John. Hi guys. He's the one that has convinced these cameras that they can see my glow paint. Look, I'm so cheeky. Uh, my hand is on fire. It's Welcome on to fire. YouTube, where artists can be serious. They, serious, serious art. Oh, this is serious, serious people. This is serious art. Serious. Where we're gonna glow it up. Actually, all. right now, you might not be aware of this, but the reason there's a balloon in the glow in the dark paint industry is because so many fine artists are actually using neon and fluorescent in their work. Yeah. On a serious level, to collectors. So we reap the benefits of that ever blooming product market. And so we have all the way to the craft paints, which pave the way up into products like Matisse Dera, which is in the link below. Also in the link below, I just went right into my paint. I have included where you can get these glow in the darks in colors. So you can get a glow in the dark anywhere in the crazy green. We're all familiar with it, right? Yep. Invisible yep. Yep. and regular light. Green alien radioactive at night. Is However, it? at artandglow.com, yeah. you can get paints that just glow in the dark, but they have a slight tint. Gotcha. Whole bunch of colors. Mm-hmm. And they're okay. Yeah. They're good. Yeah. They come in colors. Yeah. You have some choices. But on top of that, guess what you can get? You guys see my necklace? Mm-hmm. He has all sorts it's not of really sponsored. Nice stuff. I no. just met the con, thought it was really cool. He has some of the coolest use of the of the pigments. He sells the pigments yeah. as powder. Yeah. So you can use them in your mixed media projects. Pour, and that's... be crazy, do your stuff. It's a whole resource. So the acrylic paint I'm using is linked in the description. His website, which has a whole supply of things. Can we go up close camera? Because I just have to show these off. Oh yeah. My favorite being the jellyfish and glow Kevin. Oh yeah. Let's go over there on that. Oh. Where'd he go? You see that? Oh, yeah. See the jelly? Jelly, jelly, jelly. He's so jelly, cool. jelly, and, jelly. And if you hold them still, you can see, really see the pigment in there as you just yeah. je, as you spin it there. By a the way, bit. these are glow in the dark. They don't need black light. Yeah, no, not now, at all. You can do this. Ooh. And for those of you that are Kevin fans. Where is it? Oh, there. Oh, yeah, that's right. Cracking. No, cracking. He's so cute. I got sh I got starfish. I got all kinds of blown glass. Again, these you just charge them. Yeah, hold them still there for me to take a look at it. They, okay. That's and the show. neat. So you bet this little flashlight from him. Oh wow. And you charge it, and then it's look at it. It's really glowy. Yeah, I love this little flashlight. By the way, you can take one of these little flashlights to your craft store and see if it will glow. Now that's a black light flashlight. Yeah. Which is why. It, it shine it on your shine if you just shine it around it does all sorts of yeah. weird stuff cool so that's online the Derevan's online but look Martha Stewart's got glow yeah you know so deco they're just thinner and you know they're it's the same stuff that they always are just a little thinner on the pigment yeah so that's, I'm gonna say hi. we have a huge community out here I just want to give a shout out to everybody we've got almost 200 190 people 193 people here and everyone's out here so ready for this oh if you're brand new here and you just walked in we actually do teach art yes. in a very serious way but this isn't that time no this, this is, is we're gonna do this glow Cheshire cat yep but in the eye card in you'll the notice the link <gasps> to the video because we painted him earlier and now we're gonna glow him up now we're gonna glow him up oh this I take away glow kitty Monica is so stoked like me. I'm so happy. We're gonna leave it on. We're gonna leave the we're gonna leave the dance music going. Yeah. Just because I, I know at some point we're gonna hit that Sherpa mark where they're gonna get 300 people in the room with 300 likes and we're gonna be dancing anyway. So I'm just gonna leave it on rotation tonight. So this gonna... is an 11 by 14 canvas board. There's a traceable. You can print out that traceable and do it on a 16 by 20. You can do it on an 8 by 10. You just resize it. There's a lot of videos on how to resize. A print. Oh, I see Angela Anderson. Hello, Angela. Angela. Angela painted this really cool is here. I think Lindsay is here. I think I saw. Oh, Lindsay is here. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Oh, I thought I saw her. And, and Stephanie. And we have so many of our friends. Emmy the Mastermind is here. Serious art, Emmy. Lindsay. Serious stuff. Oh, so Serious. <laughs> <laughs> My hand's on fire. So they want to know if I have face paint on. No, John John had to do Boy Scouts I was Boy tonight. Scouting. We were just like. I slid in here. Slid just in. So yeah. the other thing I have to tell you, 
This little runny bit, this cute river. Yeah. Running off my. Look, I'm going to do this cool thing. Where'd it go? I'm going to show you my running off. Where is you it? see it now? It's Whoa. running off. Oh, yeah. There you go. Can't see it, can you? No. But you can't say You can. It is having trouble picking up the purple. This oh. purple does glow. Oh, yeah? It does. Those little glowy bits running down. Yeah, I see. Are little bits of yellow. <laughs> So that's an actual glow purple. It's just luminescence is lower. I have yellow. I have blue. I have orange. And I have the all-important floral white. Titanium oh. white does not glow. No. No. Actually, the glowiest color on here, and it explains why artists still bother using cadmium, is the cadmium yellow. Ah. Oh. That's why. So this is what we're working with. Those are our colors. I'm going to be painting them in with acrylic brushes for paint. These are very soft body paints. You could use a very soft brush for this. You don't have to use a, a firm filament brush. I have a number four bright and I'm going to start glowing it up. Ooh. And you guys are going to ask me questions about glow paint. A serious artist will because this is a real art movement. You know what? That it's not just on Threadbanger. It's happening everywhere. Everywhere. And I want to give some shout outs to some of our awesome, awesome people who are here all the time. Okay, I know let our me moderators. load up my page. While you're loading that up, I wanted to give a big hug to, Mo to, to Mona. She's like one of the one of our awesome, awesome community members who's always hanging out and making sure that everybody's taken care of. And you, I, I know that Kim Sims always out there and, and Inflame and Janine and all those, all of our moderators here are so great. And I just you know, wanted to make sure I stopped and give everybody a big hug and a high five because, you know, Mona's sleeping, but she'll catch this tomorrow. Yeah. And, you know. Actually, and I want to say hi to all my friends in Australia and oh, New yeah. Zealand who we finally had a show that is in the middle of your night. Yes. We're going to try to do some more of these because we recognize we have a huge community and we want to make sure we don't make everyone stay up till 3 in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> right? And remember, you can keep the chat going at theartsherpa.com where that chat window is always open. Unlike YouTube, we don't kick you out. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to take this blue. Yes, it's a blue. Now, all right. I, you can barely. So here's the deal. This camera over here, it cannot... This is the white. This is the blue. Well, you can see it a bit here, white and blue. I'll see if I, you know, I can. You gotta can... figure that one out there. I'm gonna start uh, coming in my blue stripes. Hopefully, robot cam really sees it. Yeah, it's. Is robot cam really? Oh yeah, blue? It, it's it's. Well, it it looks very whitish blue here on this one. Okay. Well, so. it it's gonna glow again. Everything's radioactive. <laughs> so what we found. And there's a few reasons for, for what I'm about to share with you is that your eyes can see, your eyes are incredible lenses, mm -hmm. and they can see these glow colors in a way that these cameras just disbelieve. Yeah, and it, it, it really what it comes down to is they, they try to stop cameras from seeing these, these, these spectrums because they... Uh, they would mess with your regular photography. Well, yeah, infrared and ultraviolet reflect differently off the surface of your skin, for example. So an infrared photography, it looks like everyone's um, lit like an angel because all of the light reflects off the surface of their skin, the very, very outer surface of the skin. So and oh. ultraviolet, it penetrates deeper. So it leaves a, it. That's why when you look at your skin, it, it has a it has a funky uh, look to it. So I'm, I'm just literally going back over this cat where I painted him blue the first time. I'm just going on a little science talk over pro, here by myself. Pro tip, though, while John is doing sciencey. Science talk. Pro tip about this: your eyes may struggle to see him, uh -huh. and I can't do this to you because the cameras will blow out and blind you, and you guys will have like <laughs> medical <laughs> events. We ah, tested it. No, don't do it. It looks like a nuclear bomb has <laughs> gone off. But in your home studio, you get a flashlight with regular light and your black light on. Uh huh. And you just hit it with a flashlight every once in a while if you're struggling to see. No, we have a flood of black light in here, so sh you, sh you can you can actually see a bit. Uh, it just everything has this very deep purple cast, um, Does which it? is like yeah, it's like what the main camera kind of yeah. sees. I'm just trying to see this. I don't even. I don't know if I'm changing what I did earlier. And if you want to see how he looks with the black light paint on, but in regular light, go to the iCard. Yep. Because he was in the example right at the beginning of that video. So besides on how to paint him mm -hmm. and draw him in, we had um, an example of him sort of finished out. Yeah. I and, think I have blue here. And I'm guessing. I'll come back with purple if I don't like it. 
And, and the reason that the robo camera sees the canvas a little blacker than the other one does is because it has a better lens on it. So it picks up more ra more range of black and light. So it's just a it's just a better camera, generally speaking. So I'm just gonna it sees it better. Put in a little blue. Now I always keep a little black paint nearby just in case I, I have a little bit of trouble. And again, this is a little more challenging for me because usually I have that nice flashlight here. If I was painting something that I wanted to look amazing in daylight and then incredible again at night, I'd want both lights. And that would be especially true if I was gonna get the colored or tinted glow paints. Hmm. Now you're not, you didn't just paint your skin with glow paint. You used like- uh, No, you don't used, paint your skin with anything from the art companies that is not made for your skin. And even then, wash it right off. Um, you, you actually used yeah. body paint. Yeah, I listened to to actually Flame Gremlin, <laughs> who had uh, real body paint. So what you, she left some here for me. So tell me what you're doing there here. I'm coming along and I'm putting blue where I feel. Where you feel? I feel because I can't. I don't have my flashlight because I blonde everybody. <laughs> where I feel like I had blue in the original painting. And the reason I have to do that underpainting mm -hmm. is these paints are so transparent, even the really good ones, yep. that they need that underpainting to not look just hot mess. Now, you you actually used body paint. So this is on actually- On me. Yeah, on you, you used Mayron body paint. Mayron body paint. Ah. Mayron neon kit water soluble body paint, like the kind that face painters have. Yeah. yeah. No paint from my no putting this stuff on my skin yeah and i can turn the gain down on that main camera later if, if, if everyone wants it to be darker but i think that uh, yeah you can just see the you can see the glow there real easy though if you turn it down oh no no as it is right now okay so this is one of those things that is in real life and i have mm. a video john and i made a video on how to do a black light conversion in your in your home studio yeah it's super easy alan was saying he just did that did you alan yeah and actually lady white fang uh had a question here oh i love answering questions for lady white fang first of all i like saying lady white fang I lady just, white fang it is awesome i just feel like i'm on a more important quest the, Artist to royal elves. It, it, well, I think that when we have a, an, a community made up of such distinguished people as like Lady White Fang <laughs> and Halloweenville and Flame and, Gremlins and Flame Gremlins and and you know it's yeah, I think that you know it just it adds sleepy character. teachers sleepy teachers <laughs> frisky kitties. Plus, we know all the best artists, Angela Anderson, frisky kitties, frisky Leanne. Frisky, we saw Maymay Maymay today. Maymay was out know. and about doing things. <laughs> She's live at different times than we're live, so we can't get to see her. Mysterious foxes. Aha. See? And 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 masterminds. See, we have all sorts of distinguished I'm characters. not going to do his eyes until last because I really, really have to work his eyes. So, But I'm just kind of letting you know where we're going. See oh, where we're going? Yeah. So, oh, okay, the question, ah, though. I have a mad plan. I have the question, though. I, I okay. forgot to ask that. So, uh, <laughs> will the glow-in-the-dark paint still glow if you varnish over it? So here's the deal. There's a bunch of UV filters in all varnish. Ah, so that and blocks I'm it. still testing things out to get an answer. And also, I'm waiting for an answer back from a friend of ours, a paint company. Yes. To see if there is a solution. Because right now, yeah. It, 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 <laughs> That's it, a problem. We're having we're having trouble finding some coatings that don't d you know dull it down in some yeah. some way or another. In right? some way. So yeah, it's uh, but they're not really permanent paints. Like artist loft, in the tube fades out six months. Yeah. Now I've had the Lucas here, this Lucas, mm -hmm. and I've had uh, the Matisse Star Van for a, since last year, and I've lost no color. Yeah. And I expect them to go years on the wall. Your mom's uh, Weeping Angel, because you know we did the Doctor Who Weeping Angel just yeah. to be completely creepy last year, <laughs> and. It glows in the dark, yeah. as as it should. Um, it's still just as bright as when we painted it. So yeah. These things have some legs. I always like, I kind of, this will not be interesting to you, but it's super interesting to me because I art nerd out and I'll talk with my pro friends about using these pigments in their canvases mm -hmm. because they're not archival, but then there is a history of artists just sort of painting with what they want and they're about their experience and they're not that concerned about the archival nature of it. So. Gotcha. Now this here, this purple, 
I cannot find a purple in a heavy bodied or even soft bodied anything. I can only get it in the airbrush. You have a link to this one. Purple is the hardest neon color to locate. So, this is an airbrush uh, purple. Only airbrush artists seem to have insisted on having purple. Ah, so and it's fluid. It's oh, like that really ink. turns out purple on the canvas, though. Oop. Yes, it does, cause the dioxinine underneath. Why? I don't know. Some sort of paint chemistry. Uh. But, but the thing is here is that it's really, and it also works really well. It you can come back and blend. Uh. And blend and blend with it. It's it's actually quite incredible. Can I ask an off-topic question here? You can ask. You can ask why do turtles not so fly? An I don't know. I'll have an answer, but I'll go for it. Angela, she she was here earlier Hi. today. Ang so uh, did, Hi, she, I remember her from yeah. earlier today. She wants to know if you paint on glass, do you varnish it like normal? Do you know? Here's the deal about acrylic paint. It's porous. So, so it, what the issue is, the reason that we varnish acrylic paint is it's little polymer beads, right? These little beads of pigment and this polymer and then the polymer dries out and the little beads interlock and they are essentially art swiffers. Really what they are. They're art swiffers. And it attracts dust and becomes a cleaning nightmare. And the varnish is about almost 100% about sealing that down. They're screaming, yay, go Cubs, in the uh, oh, in, in there. So I'm not sure. I'm trying to feel okay about this because my first baby I had at home was during the World Series. And my midwife, like, totally abandoned me. I'm not <laughs> even kidding. That happened. I was in active labor on my first home birth. And she was, like, watching the game. <laughs> so as it feels here, I'm working through. <laughs> This is not as bad as that. You should definitely, definitely be second midwife really good. Um, so, so Angela's like, you can buy airbrush paint, question mark? Yes, you can buy airbrush paint, and I highly recommend that you have some in your kit if it's in your budget. Mm. So airbrush paint, the pigment is highly refined, so it can travel through the machine, right, through the airbrush. And it's in a high fluid polymer to stabilize it. Mm hmm it is also the coolest stuff to do a ground with because it won't underbite. And it is underused by um, artists, I think, just in general. Huh. In my opinion. I have these opinions. It's, it's, I, I like the airbrush paint because it's so silky smooth. It's like a high, high quality FW ink, but sometimes it's less money. Yeah, because they have to they have to get the particle size so small for those airbrushes. But yet really have it be dense yeah. so that it shows up. Yeah. So I'm just doing this little purple between these little ranges. When I come in with the yellow and orange, by the way, this is sort of interesting. So you know what usually happens when you mix purple and yellow? It just makes an ugly color. But interestingly enough, you can mix colors that shouldn't go together and they're still pretty and glow. Huh. They you got to make a whole new color chart for it. Like, just go, ooh, ah. That's, where you that's gotta... also super fun. Make a whole new color chart for glow from Big Art Quest. You could do it. <laughs> you can just, totally just, do it. I've done it. I highly recommend it. Just sit there coloring little squares like, this is so surprising. I, you, you know, It is really surprising. It's really cool. There's something that I, that I watch Cinnamon. She's just satisfy, just satisfyingly coloring in little squares that she has labeled with different grades of paint, different kinds of paint, making little charts. We all do it. Let's own it. We all do it. The have chart making. We all do it. We all do it. So are there any tricks to using airbrush paint? Do you have to any, any so sort of... So I would definitely, you know, the thing is I'm using a very stiff bristle brush. But the truth is when I'm really, really working it, use a softer multimedia brush because it'll pull the load into it better. Um, think of it, it's like a watercolor that you can do over acrylics. Now, Golden's High Flow uh, airbrush paint you know, is all. It, yeah. Well, it's not, I, I don't even know. That, is it for airbrush? But it works in an airbrush. I'm, uh, I believe, you know, don't. Get Dude, me to say in specific. Biz. That's some. Here's what I'll tell you. It's series biz that high flow. Yeah, that high flow has some very specific properties. I don't know if it's an airbrush, but I'm. I imagine that like I. I think I know airbrush artists that absolutely use it. Yeah. And I think it recommends on the website that you can. And again, what they mean is that the medium that carries it is airbrush medium, right? Got a paint around my little nose here. Yeah, I, you know, as with all airbrushes, you should probably like wear respirators and those types of things. But you know. I'm going to do a cool thing here. I'm going to add a little white into my purple. 
Ooh, okay. And Can the Sherpa teach airbrush? Come here. Now, this is interesting. When you add the little bit of white into your purple. Oh, that is neat. Oh, that is really cool. I'm going to just, I feel like I just need to pick that up. Because yeah. I know that's going to look better in regular daylight. The combo of these two. That adds a, a real painterly look to your... <laughs> painterly. That's what we say when I'm being messy. Well, it's it's when when you let it mix on the canvas and the brush. Yeah. And that's 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 why you don't mix the color on the on the palette. You mix mm -hmm. it within the brush and on the canvas so that it gives yeah. that. I'm gonna do the nose now above here. This is really gonna pop when we do get the um, orange going. And when you, what it is, the reason we did yellow on the first cat, right, instead of orange, is so that I could do the yellow, this yellow and this orange together on him. Oh. And this yellow will not paint over orange or any color, really. Hmm. It's super transparent. So you got to do some tricks. You got to do your tricks. So, like the white into your purple. But you can see, you can kind of see it popping now. Do your tricks. Somebody painted glow on the Aurora Borealis Winter Wonderland. Oh, wow. And it looks so cool. And I gotta I go find that. of it. I gotta go check that out. And like, literally, what I wanna do is glow my own. Oh, yeah? Yeah, now I've got a little white in the purple here, and I'm just trying to define this little area under, under him. What we're going for is that we're telling a story about a magical, mythical beast, right? Even, a, think about the Cheshire Cat for a second. Mm -hmm. He's a mid mythical, magical beast among mythical, magical beasts. That's true. The unicorns are impressed by him. Mm -hmm. Just saying. <laughs> the talking Dormouse, super impressed. Even that crazy queen. Gail agrees. She's like, if you're going to use glow paint on something, definitely the Aurora Borealis. Yeah, it's super fun. And, you know, again, you can do glow in the dark with that. And what I'll say is go for it. You know, just recognize the glow in the dark is either almost a white or completely transparent in daylight. Mm -hmm. But then at night it does its thing. So, who are the brush guys? Who are Someone the brush asks. guys? They're my friends. They, they're, they're my friends. They take care of me. They're my first people that took care of me. Actually, they take care of everybody. They, they do, really do. They take care of our community. And yeah. then we said, y'all are nice. So, so the brush guys, back a long, long time ago, we uh, our community was was try, was ordering brushes like crazy and from look, the, from our goalie lux brush. They were, they it was were, hard to find places. Yeah, they were trying having a hard time and. What we kept hearing from our community is that there was this one group of guys out west that just took the time to talk to you and make sure that your that anything you needed was taken care of. It didn't matter whether you were in in the Netherlands or New Zealand. They took the time to make or Oklahoma or Oklahoma. That's right. They took the time to make sure that whatever you needed, they got in and and if it was hard to get a hold of, they notified you when it was there, and they always maintained the the prices at a very fair rate. So all of that led to us, you know, hearing from you guys about them so much. So I called them up and said, hey, our community says you guys are the greatest in the world. So tell me about you. And, and I met uh, Dave and Jeff over there at the Brush Guys. And it was just, it was a fast friendship. Those guys were so awesome. Um, we hit it off and they, uh, uh, you know, ever since then, they, they, they've been helping us out. We've been working with them and we've, you know. I don't yeah. know what to say. They're 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 just fantastic fellas, and I can't recommend <laughs> another American-based company to uh, that I that I would think of better to go order your brushes from. Whoa! See Whoa. what happened to me? Whoa! What happened? Too fluid. Too fluid. It's okay though. See, because it's fluid, I can go like this. That's the other thing that makes it nice about the painting underneath being dry. I had too much fluid. I had too much water on my brush. On here, brush is too stiff bristle. For the soft body of the paint, so just I just lost control of it. Now, if you do go over to the Brush Guys, at, and that is thebrushguys.com, and use the code Art Sherpa, you get five percent off. They don't sponsor our videos. 
No, no, we are not sponsoring this video. They just, <laughs> they're just. And good. We, we did make a video with them once. We, yeah, we and we will make more in the future because we like them. And I, I won't lie to you. Jeff is it? Jeff is. We've broken bread with them. Yes. We like them. What I really, I think Jeff and I. I think we're of the dangerous. same cloth. Yeah, you're, you're dangerous when you get the two of you in a room together. <laughs> Similar cloth, us. So I'm going to pull a little bit of my orange. Every once in a while, like I'm going to come get a tip of the yellow in there. And I'm going to start taking his little fur and, and putting it on fire. Can you see the fire in his fur? I am literally oh, yeah. piecing in. I'm piecing, piecing in what he's going to look like. When you go look at him in the other video to see what he looks like in regular light, you're going to be blown away. In art, like technically all glow paint's kind of a bad paint. <laughs> yeah. Because, you know, it's a low pigment load and it has a real specific use and um, it's not as archival as some. And it's, it's real easy to be grainy and transparent. It's easy for it to be grainy and transparent. The lesson in the glow paint, the Kung Fu Panda lesson in the glow paint, is that whatever you're painting with, whatever your medium, whatever you got going on, make it work. Do the Tim Gunn. Make it work. If it's an inexpensive paint with a low pigment melt glowed, then paint it like a glaze. Mm, so Don't try to paint it like a heavy body paint with lots of opacity. Just lean into it and paint it like it's a glaze and obey the rules of glazing. Polly asks a very good question. Oh, I like it, Polly. Is the glow in the pigment or the medium? In the pigment. Oh. The medium is the carry not currently interfering with the glow. Now, if the medium were to glow, that would block that, out the pigment. Huh? It, it would block the pigment. Yeah. We wouldn't really see the pigment. So I'm sometimes adding a little of the yellow to what I'm doing on the rough. And I'm making these short little brush it brush strokes mm -hmm. they're kind of cool i think and again we've already painted him so we're just this is like paint by numbers but more fun <laughs> yeah and more relaxing if you've had a lot of anxiety and stress i really have to recommend glow paint if there's yeah. something about it that You're... is super therapeutic for me yeah i can tell you're already glowing up I'm glad. Plus, my hand's on fire. Your hand's on fire. My hand's on fire. Sometimes I grab some yellow. Because I like to have a little bit of that into the orange. I learned how to beatbox from Adam from Premium Beatbox. Next up. He's another one of the next uppers. I don't know why we're dancing, but we are. We are? Yeah. You know what we should tell people to do? Like, comment, and subscribe, yes, share. Yes, we forgot to do that all the time. We need likes. We need more likes. Feed us the likes or YouTube likes. will make us go away. No, they won't. It's true, they won't. They won't. They keep us here. Well, we can just stay here. They don't, they don't really... <laughs> They don't really in interfere at all. They're kind of like the Federation. <laughs> they have a non-interference policy. They really do. I know all the YouTubers are talking about the interference of YouTube and content idea, but really, actually, mostly they are... They just they want to enable from, in from afar. You know. Support you. Make sure you can be good creators. I like, like how I'm surprised that like, big like movie companies very have no sense of humor. <laughs> I think it's like visiting the Willy Wonka factory. So I just grabbed some yellow there just to give some dimension to him. Mm -hmm. I'm going to have to definitely paint up his nose so you can see him. Otherwise, he's just not really there. So now you're, you, are you using glow-in-the-dark paint or UV reactive paint? I'm using UV reactive paint. But mm -hmm. I this here, and I have the link to them, is glow in the dark so it charges up during the daytime and they have a lot of colors they're more pastel uh -huh. but it's a big range they're pretty fluid mm -hmm. but they have a big range of color yeah so if you're looking for if you're not going to be able to for some reason glow in the dark i mean get the uv yeah because they've got green and blue and yellow and purple and orange and some pink mm -hmm. 
which most most companies don't. And that's um, Art and Glow. That's where the necklaces and all the cool stuff came from. I'm gonna put this other reflection on his little nose. Oh yeah. That's gonna help a lot. Now you're you're currently using Derivon. I'm using Matisse Derivon. Mate I've used a lot of glow paints. Yeah. So like in in the year when I started, I didn't even know you had to underpaint everything. So a shout out to all of those uh, down there in Australia. Or yeah, you guys the... can get this. This is a student grade paint for them. It's super inexpensive. None of these are pricey. Yeah. This is not pricey. It's not like my golden where it's a little bit pricey. Now I mm -mm. really I would love I to just see... grab some yellow to. I want to go down and see up. the Derivan factory too. I would, I know, because it's really cool seeing the Golden Factory. I want to yeah. see how you know uh, how it's differently done over you know. Yeah. And I think that's be really cool. Got a little more yellow on there, and so you can see I'm just filling in the areas that I haven't glowed, and that creates his space. Doesn't Ooh. he just come to? He does. You know, just let him come to. If it gets a little too yellow, come back with the orange. But now he's fabulous. Now I'm being respectful to the energy of this character, who's a mythical beast among mythical beasts. Are you guys mythical beasts among mythical beasts? I think everyone here is a pretty good mythical beast. So now, uh, <laughs> Billy was asking, can you mix your glow paint with regular acrylic paints? You can, but it really greatly diminishes the effect, the impact of the glow in the same way you, you work with interference, but it doesn't take much acrylic paint to overwhelm an interference paint. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take much acrylic paint. But I did do this thing where I do a phthalo white, phthalo blue, and a glow in the like uh, dark, uh, UV reactive blue to create a muted glow in like an underwater scene. Oh, Garden Heart just asked a, a question. I would love did to answer Garden Heart's question. Garden Heart, she wants to know, and you can turn around and and say, where would one find the traceables for this? At theartsherpa.com. Let's see if we can get Oh, look at that. We have a button. So. It has the direct link right there. Yeah. Making this easier every day. Going to make the quest easier. Going to make everything easier. Yeah. Hang in with me. And while you're. I got you. While you're clicking away. I got you. You should click. Yes. Click that like button. Likes. Nom, nom. Click the nom, subscribes nom. Do I get bubbles button. for likes? Nom, just, nom, there's over nom, 200 nom. people here and there's 200 likes. Do you want so, smoky bubbles? Smoky bubbles. We for smoky likes? Bubbles. If you guys oh, give yeah. us likes, we'll give you smoky bubbles. Smoky bubbles. We we're going to give you smoky bubbles anyway, so you that don't actually have to feed us likes. Or is it just smoke? Or is it bubbles? Texas snowflakes. Smoky bubbles. Nom, 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 nom. Likes. Likes are like the many bubbles in my studio. Don't use glow bubbles in your studio. That'll just mess oh, up your oh art. Oh, no. It's it's, it's like, all over everything. The reason anything over here is spotted, that was glow bubbles. Glow bubbles are a glow-pocalypse. <laughs> I mean, because... They are glow-pocalypse all the way. It's like someone took a glow machine gun and just took it to Mess your walls and floor just, and everything. It's like, what have I done? Because the little glow bubbles pop. And then there's like everywhere. little grenades of glow on everything that don't everything. have off. Oh, was... I don't know why that's such permanent archival glow. Oh, they say that the 200 200 number is definitely a glow, is definitely a dance number. It is. That's, yeah. I thought we were 300. We are, but you know what? We're just dancing anyway because they like it. It's, it's different rules for glow. And you know what we're going to do here? I'm we're... really surprised anybody came. For those of you who, who like the glow party. So thank you guys for all joining us tonight. Don't forget to wiggle your toes and wiggle your nose. And for all of you guys who are just joining us overseas and down under, thank you for taking the time to come be with us today. We really do appreciate it. And uh, I'll go turn on the bubbles here for you guys. And again, you know... Is this he back to normal? Yeah, he's back to normal for him. Thank you guys for it's coming. It's hard to see his purple in the main cam. Can you see it on the, the other Yeah. Cam? Yeah, we can see it over so, there. So hard. But I, I just really wanted to say thank you. These after parties are so much fun with you guys. And they it's are. so nice to have you here. We love hanging out with you. And yes, yes, I agree. We need a disco ball and I need a longer remote control for the bubbles. <laughs> is what I need. The smoke bubbles make me super happy. Bubbles, bubbles in general right now are making me super happy. 
lot of like crazy fun stuff happening. I'm gonna add a little like, a smoke. Texas snowflakes! Yay! Gonna add a little yellow a couple places in the middle of the Texas snowflakes that do not hurt my glow painting because they're not glow bubbles. They're not? So I gotta get his teeth in and I gotta get his eyes in. That's teeth fun. are super fun, guys. The teeth make just like our like magical when they this go in. This is a number two shader multimedia brush by Simply Simmons. They're inexpensive. You can get them a lot of places and they're tiny, small detail brushes. Yeah. And since this is a very fluid paint, it's pretty easy to paint. I like just dip it in and load it up. And then I'm just going to come over here and you're going to see his teeth just pop in. And then suddenly, he's the Cheshire cat you know and love. Incorrigible furball. Uh, so some people were asking uh, how we managed to get ours so bright. And that's because we have a ton of UV lights over us. Well, um, and, and these paints. And these paints. You're using You're using the... The, the Derivan is really pigmented. The Lucas is really pigmented. There is a difference. Yeah. Like, like by shades. Yeah. So... You know, the UV lights really make these pop. So, uh, you know, good lighting helps a lot. And you know, we have that, that whole thing. It's like a $6 bulb, though. Yeah. One of the things you can really do that's cool is just get a six, the, the $6 UV glow bulb and put it in one of those picture lighters. They normally hang over the painting. Um, and, you know, my mom did that for her. Uh, her angel her, that she's, her she's so angel. good natured about because she thought it was such a different kind of angel. Yeah. She, when we said when we said weeping angel, she thought the pretty one with the wings <laughs> weeping in its hands. <laughs> she wasn't thinking. She didn't really watch a lot of Doctor Who. Like if you know us and you watch Doctor Who, and I said, "Oh, I painted a weeping angel," none of y'all would be like, "Let's take that home." <laughs> yep. You would know. You'd be like, "Oh, that's it. Are you okay?" <laughs> one of the reasons why John and I were able to like instantly really get together is we just were the same kind of dorky oh uh, yeah, yeah. That, oh speaking of most important thing i'm ever going to say to you oh yeah yes dirk gently's holistic <gasps> detective agency on the bbc yes just after this watch yeah it. you should do that holistically speaking it's a you know it's good for your soul am i loving westworld of oh, course yeah. i am westworld. you know about westworld you should be watching it yes but you might not know about dirk gently's detective agency holistic detective I mean, agency it is a riotous romp and you know i i remember reading it in high school and i mean like i have to say this is so good this is so good you know it does it it it's just crazy yeah so. it's just crazy good <laughs> i don't even know how to say this um uh, a tooth blue. it's a sherpa shire cat sherpa shire cat sherpa shire cat sherpa shire, sherpa -shire cat well i'm not saying i'm not along i might have read wonderland like a hundred gazillion uh, times yeah and uh, probably crawled in way too many dangerous <laughs> wild holes before my parents explained to me that I would not be catching unicorns in the woods and holes hold wild animals that want to eat my face. Not magical doors to another dimension. Mm -hmm. Having imaginative children is extra work. <laughs> Having some of my own imaginative children, I'm sure, because Honey spent... Six months jumping on her books trying to get into Blue's Clues. She's just breaking all the spots on her books. So, so Shanaz is just a, she, she just gave you a, a very, a very humorous, uh, she admitted a very humorous thing here. And I'm just kind of curious who else has done this. And I'm not, I don't watch uh, a lot of YouTube from my phone. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a power user, so to speak. I use my, my iMac a lot. My I think I'm going to have to get so. a green. I don't think my green is bright enough. I watch from the desktop most of the time, but I noticed that a lot of my friends watch from their mobile device and in bed. And so Shanaz was saying that she was just in bed typing and dropped it on her head as she was oh, watching no. TV. <laughs> and so everyone was sort of consoling her and saying, oh yeah, I totally know what that's like. <laughs> and so I was like, you know, I bet you that is a common thing that happens, you know, because I've done it playing games, but I've not done it sort of watching YouTube. Not yet? Not yet, because I, I, you know, I, I like watching from my desktop. 
I'm taking this green. I'm going to go ahead and use this green. Yeah. And I'm going to paint very carefully around my reflection. Do any of your children game D&D? Yeah. We do. I don't know about the kids. <laughs> no, we have video of Honey Dip playing yeah. D&D. Yeah, uh, uh, Honey plays. She plays at the local... At, uh, the local um, Spider's kind of in the Skylander boy, boy and girl and Skylanders and... He is a more tech-based... He likes Boy Scouts. Go. He and likes Boy Scouts. Boy Scout stuff. And building. He likes construction. You know, but then he's really, like, distrustful of this whole Santa Claus story. That's He, he he's is, yeah. He's really, really trying to just prove it. It's <laughs> a lot of work for me. Yeah. It's a lot of work. Yeah, he knows something's just not right about this story. He can't put his finger on it yet, but there's presents, so he doesn't want to ask too many questions. Yeah, he really is. You can see presents. him. You can see him working this out. Like, man, I don't want to. I don't want to look this gift horse in the mouth too much, but you know, something's just a bit odd. Yes, we are all mad here. Can't be mad at him though. He likes cookies. He loves, lives for cookies and donuts. <laughs> Definitely got his mom's palate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is great. So I'm uh, just going around the outer edge, just wringing his outer edge of his eyes with this bright green. What's funny? Okay, so uh, Yukin, I'm yeah. hoping I said that. It's, it's her first uh, D&D campaign was My Little Pony themed. Uh, <laughs> I played Pinkie Pie as a bard. Dude, Pinkie Pie is a dangerous foe, man. Don't mess with I, the Pinkie Pie. I think that could actually be a really cool... You like, know, that's something we haven't painted on the channel is My Little Pony, but I just... I never know how these experiments are going to go. Like, Little Brush Raven just started playing. Hi, Raven. Hey. High five there, Raven. All right. So we've got the eyes outlined in the green, like you do. I'm going to get the blue... And I'm going to just very carefully come around and just define this eye space. And we've done a lot of eyes. I know I have us do a lot of eyes, but they're just a thing you're going to have to do in painting. Mm -hmm. You know, they happen a lot. It, for all of the for all of our guys out our guys and girls out there who are into D and D, if you like gaming and you happen to like WoW, then you should join our guild on Etrig. We, are, we play the Horde. <laughs> and oh, there's some little brushes out there. I'm going to give a little, a little shout out here to, uh, to Allie, who's, who's Hi, here Allie. with us. How you doing? I'm just trying to, to do this little glow light around his I, little that, The eye looks really cool with the glow. Doesn't it? Yep. And he like starting to have a thing. These eyes are a little bit of work, and I even get the purple involved sometimes just to create the shadows. But So will Fox be glow? Fox, um, no, I wasn't going to do Fox Glow because we are all on the same day. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so it'd probably but be. That is not the only Potter-themed piece coming your way, and it's not the only fantasy-themed pe piece that you uh -huh. got coming your way. Because I can think of one piece that y'all have been waiting a really long time for that finally is going to be coming out. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh. Space Unicorn. I know. Through the sky. It's so exciting. I've been, I've been watching. Do I expect that? Oh. Hope he does well. <laughs> Look, Tar Ogar. Tar Ogar. Hold the door. <sighs> yep. You know. So there we go. We're just trying to define the shape and space of that eye. Believe it or not, the purple can be powerful in this. And I'm just gonna put some on my brush mm -hmm. because then I can come here, interestingly, and just find the shadows. And we just keep making these eyes. They end up looking like opals. I love my bubbles, you like your bubbles. Eyes just take time. And I like these to feel like marbles. The violet's quite powerful in the space. It's a powerful, powerful tool. That's kind of fun, John. I'm not even going to lie to you there. <laughs> it's like they're tickling me, and they're supporting me, and they love me. So we have, it seems we have a, a grip of wowers in here tonight. And I'm just, you know. Well, the dream... 
hopefully not to drive everyone off the channel, but the dream is to do some gaming and plain air painting from the game. Oh yeah, we're gonna be doing that soon, I think. I'm picking up some of the green again. And now I'm gonna be doing this dabbing motion. This dabbing, can you see this? Oh yeah. This dabbing where I'm not even doing a brush stroke is gonna create a lot of structure and excitement in the eye. <laughs> Shanaz wants to know if you'll do if you'll do Smurfs in glow paint. Yeah, that I would definitely do in glow paint. I think you'd have to I will not be doing trolls, but I would do Smurf. I love the mushroom hat. I love the mushroom houses so much. Yeah. I think it's so I think we should definitely do some Smurfs. And we can have fun guy come and visit. I've been working real hard to make glow paint happen. Uh-huh. I like the glow. <laughs> it's like since last Christmas. <laughs> Where my mom almost ate her glow cupcake. Yep, that's that's right. Don't eat paint. And we had to like glitter it too. She was gonna go for it. Ooh, I we see. We were like, no, Ginger, no. So no glow cupcake. Oh, uh, by the way, she did hear about how the kids trick or treated. She's just all distracted. Mm. So I'm gonna I say to her that this morning. There's a bunch of people asking that we do I've have. I've got some yellow, and I'm doing these yellow flecks in his eyes. Okay. Cool. What, cool. brush are you, what brush are you using? Is actually... I'm still the number two shader. This is a small detail brush that you would do like in small miniature work or craft work, but I really like it for this. It's like the way I like a dome brush for clouds. Oh. So I have a specific request here. I'm okay. supposed to say, hey, Matthew, dude, come play WoW with us. Join the Sherpets Guild. Come play with us. We'll, it will be awesome. Okay. So Janine's like, ask my husband to come play. And I'm like, well, oh, absolutely come play with us. We I have, would love that. Uh, we've been, uh, I've got a 58 loot cow. I'm getting a blue again. And I'm going to come back and reinforce yeah. the blue. Level 58 loot cow. You can Just come. Just dabbing it here. It'll be a surprise what I decide to be. Oh, yeah. You have to see Cinnamon. Cinnamon's putting a lot of thought into hers. I have feelings about it. She, so, and, uh. Just so play with your eyes until they they just speak to you, until he feels alive. Now, here's the last touch, last thing mm -hmm. that you're going to do is you're going to take your white and over where you oh, put oh. the reflection previously, add your reflection dot to bring him to life. Any awesome now? Yes. That okay. is This is really the coolest cool. next part. Now, what I like about this pen is that it signs invisible and you have to shine the light on it to see it. Mm. And I'm kind of for that. Not archival. Oh, let me get down there and so you can see it. Oh, there it goes. This is really cool. Yep, there, see, see, you can only see it with that light on. It's kind of still there, but when we turn the light on, light on. Like on the other one, when you see it in the other video, you can't see the signature at all. And that's yeah. why. You can only see it under the black light. The painting is in the eye card. Oh, yeah. Don't let glow paint. Don't. This is definitely one of those places to just not worry about it. Mm -hmm. It's definitely worth having in your paint bucket. Um, I don't know about you. I'm in the U.S. right now. That's a really stressful time. <laughs> stressful in social media, stressful on TV, just trying to keep my head above water and have only polite conversations about brownies. Yes. Or salad <laughs> or any other non triggering event <laughs> until it's over. Yeah. I feel like, um, do you remember how they used to, if you're over a certain age, you'll remember, we didn't have them, but my mother had them. That you had these drills for a nuclear bomb and you had to get under your desk and cover your head. <laughs> I feel this whole experience is like that. It's as effective as that probably was. I'm going to cover my head for this nuclear bomb. <laughs> I know I'm there. I'm just going to keep trying to paint for that. Um, I am considering doing the poppies on the 11th as has been requested. Because, yeah. you know, we stayed in Canada and we love Canada. And, you know, we have a Canadian daughter. We do. Luna's Canadian. She's our Canadian anchor baby. Feeling <laughs> <laughs> inappropriate, but we do say that all the time. <laughs> it doesn't actually work like that, but 
you know <laughs> so we have love for our neighbors in the north we're super excited for australia new zealand and all the eyeballs coming from over there so hi australia new hi new australians zealand. we're gonna come so see exciting. you you're pre- be prepared because we're gonna come down under some we will days. try i mean like i understand I, we gave you a crazy glow paint but we'll give you like a serious yes. paint here late night soon so you guys can be like oh good because mm-hmm. three in the morning is super rude I I appreciate that it is. I do. I totally appreciate. Which is why we're like gonna do a late night party. I any Q and A before we go because this is not a serious show. No one's. It's gonna have like no views after this is over. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's gonna be like, let's watch the blow cut. All right. <laughs> It's it's definitely the 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 chat is definitely definitely I'm, having I'm fun. I'm the opposite of that girl who wears a bikini in games and gets a million subscribers <laughs> a week. I I literally have come to I hustle and work for every person who who decide. I I think I wear them down. <laughs> and you know, guys, I'm like it, the Big Bang Theory. I'm I'm like Leonard, <laughs> and y'all are the cute girl next door. I just wear y'all down till you're like, all right, I'll subscribe. Ugh. <laughs> No. You paint with me and you decide you love me because I'm so cute and awesome. If you guys want to keep chatting and keep hanging out, you can go over to theartsherpa.com where the chat is working. So you guys can keep on hanging out there, mm-hmm. post up your pictures, post up all the stuff that you guys got going on. We really love seeing it. I'm going to be over there chatting here in a little bit. The links below mm-hmm. are there. Yes, links. And somewhere. that information is there. I, if you do glow up your cat, I'd love to see it. Um, yes, we went to see the know, glow. But remember, you can glow up your winter wonderland too. This stuff works on that. Yes, yes. You know, and again, oh yeah, pretty cool. The colors. Each you can only get like I've only found peach, and blue and white and Martha's. And again, there it's a low pigment load. It would really freak you out if you didn't realize how low the pigment loads on all these products are. Yep. The only pigment loads that are high, well, golden. Has a high pigment load. Yes. This and the Lucas. And again, they're not expensive because, because no, it's so funny. It's like the paint manufacturers are like, hmm. I made it because they made me, but I told them it wouldn't last forever. <laughs> they still bought it. Sorry. So, for, uh, so uh, Sherry was asking a quick question here. She says, John, how can I watch the TV show? So, if you, you can catch us, uh, we're uh, in Ohio, channel uh, in Canton, Ohio, channel 15, in Houston. We're on multiple channels you just need to look up houston uh, on if houston media source you could put us on the lynn county public television yep. with your public access if you're there yep there's just a public access wherever you have a public access yeah. channel you can actually request that we're on yeah you just call, call your local peg station and request either they can connect to me at help at heartparty.com or through our website where we're going to have a whole bunch of information where any peg station can download can can link up with us um, or through pegmedia.org, and, and there's a whole way that they can get that and get it in your local areas. Yeah, so, so we'll those help are those them with little half-hour, hour-long lessons with just me yeah. talking where John's over there snickering at me but not talking. Yeah, Michelle, anybody, if you want to get that in your local area, feel free to reach out to me, help at Please. heartparty.com, and we've got, we'll help you get do that yeah. as best we can. Yeah, we would just help, like, free art imagine the people who are not on YouTube maybe don't have a computer, mm-hmm. right? Like, we're all pretty lucky we have phones and computers, but that's not everybody. Yep. Help them. And also, I love that I'm in bars places. Can you imagine me really drinking? <laughs> okay. at, at 2 a.m., there's the, the Sherpa. the last thing you saw was Bob, and then the next thing you see is me. You'd be like, oh, that's been a lot of whiskey. <laughs> that's a lot of whiskey. Did she have a hat on and purple hair? Was she, was she, was was she teaching night? you to paint a, a rainbow maned unicorn? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what's us. taking so long as I've been trying to get that's that to the TV. link for Peg because I feel like public access needs a rainbow main space unicorn on fire. And thank you all the people at all the Peg stations who believe in us enough to support that that dream. And we they've been pretty love great. Actually, you. we've been pretty supportive. Can, yeah, can we, we chat really about that a little bit? Like how incredible. Uh, I mean, like, what else are we going to do? We, we, they're, they've been here glowing with us. So we, we got to go. We okay. got to get out of here. We'll, go, we'll do some more chatting later, guys. Oh, Sunday, my mom's on. Yes, Sunday's mom's on. We'll do more of this. Love you guys. Be good.